This is Bob. Bob's a big fan of clubs. I belong to everything. That's my high school bowling team. I'm the tall one in the middle. And this is a film about why you should join one and how Bob discovered that the fate of America depends on it. It's Harvard professor and award-winning writer Robert Putnam. You've been described as the poet laureate of civil society. Robert D. Putnam. For deepening our understanding of community in America. He made people pay attention to a concept that most people had never paid attention to. Social capital. Social capital. Social capital. Social networks have value. I'd like to call on Professor Robert Putnam, who gave us the concept of social capital. The number of people who know one another's first name, the number of people who take part in community organizations, the level of trust and reciprocity in the community. The places that have better government are the places that have a long history of social networks and social capital. Your chances of dying over the next year are cut in half by joining one group. Bowling alone. Where'd you get the title? I happened to run into a friend who owned a bowling alley. And he said, gosh, Bob, you don't know it, but you've stumbled onto the major economic problems facing my industry. Because although more Americans are bowling than ever before, bowling is up in America. Bowling in leagues, bowling in teams is off by about 60%. Everything that reflects connections with other people are going down. How many times last year did you go to church? Down. How many times did you go to a dinner party? Down. How many times last year did you go to a club meeting? In barely a couple of decades, half all the civic infrastructure in America had simply vanished. It's equivalent to saying half of all the roads in America just disappeared. Everyone has a feeling something's happening, but then he's got charts to actually show what's actually happening. Whatever's happening to people's sense of mutual obligation, to their understanding about the common good, to their willingness to trust their neighbor, is no longer going on because people are bowling alone. The book Bowling Alone, which you're familiar with by yep. Robert Putnam. The activity may still be going on, but there's no social capital being built. That decreases the trust we have in one another. How lonely Americans are, how divided. You know, he may have been on to something. We have to see loneliness as a threat to our health security and to our overall national security. We are trying something that hasn't been done before, which is growing and sustaining a multiracial democracy. Politics and policy ultimately depends on the social health of our country. Organization, connections with other people, is the only way you get big change. Democracy is a pain in the ass. If it was just easy, no one would have to go to a meeting and it would all just be fair and easy. You should join, your kids should join, and if there's not an organization you want to join, create one. America doesn't have to be the kind of America that you've lived in your whole life. You could decide to change history.